Last year was a terrible fire season here in the Inland Northwest, with more than 812,000 acres burned in Washington State alone. And this year could be as bad, if not worse. Our unseasonably dry and warm spring has us headed into an earlier and longer fire season. Here in Spokane, our rainfall totals this year are alarmingly low, with Spokane receiving so far three inches less rain than average. The lack of spring rains and warm weather is stacking the deck for large and destructive fires that may start earlier in the summer. Typically, here in the Inland Northwest, the smoke from wildfires impact us from late August through September. And to no one's surprise, the West is either in a drought or a severe drought, setting the stage for a potentially devastating wildfire year. Significant fire potential is expected to increase to above average in June across central Oregon and into southeast Washington and continue through August. Southwest Oregon is forecast to have above normal significant fire potential by August. And in California, state officials are bracing for what could be a record year of horrific fire destruction. We all know that wildfires destroy homes and habitat and cost us billions of dollars in damages each year. But now there is growing evidence that the wildfire smoke can impact our health in a negative way. Wildfire smoke causes coughing, throat, and lung irritation, which can make us more susceptible to respiratory infections. And there are studies that show that long-time exposure to wildfire smoke has been linked to a higher cancer risk. So what needs to happen to reduce wildfires? Well, as far as Mother Nature goes, we need less lightning. And if we get thunderstorms, then hope for lots of rain with the lightning to help put out the fire before it can spread. State officials also need to put more emphasis on putting out the wildfire rather than waiting for fall rains to do that. Is we've got to restore the health of these forests so they have a fighting chance. And last, we've got to bring resources to the communities that are on the front lines of these fires. Malden was a tragedy, and frankly, it's a tragedy that didn't need to happen if we had had the investments over the long term in the firefighting resources and in helping those homes be more resilient to fire. And we need to do our part. Use only approved campfire rings and make sure the campfire is out before leaving. Don't burn debris during fire season and avoid parking hot vehicles on dry grasses. Be vigilant and careful when you're out this summer. If Mother Nature cooperates and we are careful, we may not have to see another devastating fire season.